So here's some of our lawns, which as you know, I've been growing into long grasses for a number of years. And the woodland, you can see the cow parsley all around. But what I'm bringing you over here for is the bird cherry. Here's the bird cherry. This is a different cherry. This is our native European cherry. All other cherry trees are hybrids from Asia. Now the bird cherry is hugely important. We have a taller one just behind this little tree. It's back over there. But as you can see, the woods are full of uh, cow parsley. It's just looking glorious. I'm such a fan of um, cow parsley. Anyway, what I want to talk about is this little fella here, right here. In this tent are the caterpillars of the bird cherry moth. The bird cherry moth, the caterpillars, create this to protect themselves and they eat the leaves. And the leaves are used to this and have a second flush of leaves once the caterpillars, whoops, there you can see some of the caterpillars, right, let me see if I can get my finger in, there, there's some of the caterpillars. And as they eat the leaves, you can see they're starting to eat the leaves there, they've hatched. As they eat the leaves, they will continue tenting up this whole bird cherry tree and they will eat the leaves. Then when it's time for them to turn into chrysalises, they will go to the trunk of the tree and they will tent the trunk of the tree and they will put their chrysalises all up and down the trunk. So the whole trunk will be webbed. This is when the second flush of the bird cherry leaf comes out. The important part of the biodiversity is that when these turn into the chrysalises and then turn into the bird cherry moth, is at the same time when baby bats are weaned. So the baby bats will have lots of protein rich food as these moths take off from this tree. This is all in one season. So the bird cherry moth lays its eggs in, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I think they lay, lay them in uh, the autumn. Then they're hatch. The caterpillars make this nest. Then they crawl down the branches to the trunk of the tree, make their tent again and their, and their chrysalises. Then they hatch out at the same time that the bats are weaned. And that is called biodiversity. That is called nature. That's the full cycle. And I must say, it smells delicious right here. These bird cherries are really, they're such a beautiful uh, tree and such a beautiful flower. Unlike, you know, the normal cherries that have one cherry per stem. Here you can see there's a whole bunch of flowers per stem. And when they're in bud and coming out, they look like lilies of the valley. So they're absolutely wonderful. So you can see there the caterpillars are there and they're probably in other locations. There's more right there. There's more. And so to me, what I'm seeing, oh, here's more. You can see right there, right in there. So what I'm seeing is bat food. I'm seeing the cherries feeding the caterpillars, feeding the moth, which is feeding the bat. And this cherry has adapted to have a second growth of leaves after the moth turns into a chrysalis. Anyway, there we go. That's me on one of my biodiversity hobby horses. 
So allow the caterpillars to eat the bird cherry to feed the bats. Isn't that right, Mustard? Oh look, I've got lots of cats. The cats like the bats too. So you could say full cycle. The cats will eat the bats, but they don't very often. The bats are too clever. So I can hear the dogs are digging in there somewhere. There must be a vole or a rat or a shrew or a field mouse or something. They're having a lovely time digging. I can hear ferocious diggings, probably digging up some of my snowdrops in there. Anyway, these are the bird cherries. And look at this, isn't it so beautiful? There's mustard going through the woods and disappearing. The tail disappearing. <laughs> oh, you can see. Oh, there he is. He's on that log. There's a log right there. Isn't that right, kitty? He says, don't bother me, I'm hunting. Good hunting in them thar woods. Oh, he's washing his face. <laughs> anyway, look, from the cow parsley to the hawthorn. The hawthorn in there is blooming. Oh, look, and Maya's on the tree trunk as well. Look at those woods, just magnificent. The floofy season of cow parsley. How I do love you. Here you can see the ground elder has taken over, which is not I'm not a fan of. But I do love the cow parsley. <laughs>